Hey everyone. Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. Uh, I've had so many people message me and so many people ask me when I was going to finally do one again. And I pretty much tell everybody the same thing uh, when I have free time. Uh, and it's not necessarily just the free time, it's the fact that I hate my voice. Uh, and then hearing it back on here makes it worse. So, I've got to get over that, so I'm doing a video. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to do an update today on where I'm at in my transition and kind of where I want to go. Currently, I'm at 15 months full time. So, I had my surgery and started living as myself 15 months ago. And it's been pretty much the most amazing year of my life. Uh, at the end of next month, we'll mark two years on hormones. So, two years transition time. Uh, feels like it's been just yesterday. And I've made it this far and it has been amazing. Uh, at the end of this month, I will go see my therapist and get my letter for SRS. So I can contact Dr. Bowers in California and go ahead and set up my surgery for next year uh, to finalize everything. And I'm super excited, but also super nervous about it. Uh, but I'm kind of, I'm really ready. It's, it's, it's time. It's been time for a long time. Um, and and kind of where I want to go with all of it is, because I've been asked, do you want to just kind of blend in and kind of disappear and just be seen as a woman all the time. And yes and no. Um, and, and the reason no is because I'm proud of who I am. I, I'm transgendered and, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I've, I've struggled forever with who I was. And seeing girls before me do videos on YouTube and have their social sites that I could kind of follow and see pictures and updates, uh, it encouraged me that I wasn't alone. Uh, and it helped me kind of in my transition and since I've made it this far I've had a bunch of people contact me um, letting me know that I inspire them and they ask me questions and I've even met with a few girls in Dallas and had lunch with them and they asked me questions and I, to be on this side of the table as opposed to that side uh, was completely different but I enjoyed it it was nice to be able to share with somebody that they're not alone and that there are people out there just like them and it's okay to be who you are uh, and you shouldn't have to worry about people judging you for that and you shouldn't judge yourself for that so with that being said I never kind of want to go in the dark uh, there's a huge opportunity right now a lot of things are happening in the media and in the social world for transgender people and that's kind of happened with uh, Laverne Cox with her TV role and Jamie Clayton and uh, Carmen Carrera is a big one too right now and Isis King uh, a lot of these women are out there living their life and living their life they're doing their dream um, whether it be modeling or acting or singing and they're successful uh, and it's a good opportunity to educate people that we are no different uh, so, my big plans after surgery is to really get in shape and try out for the WNBA. That's my biggest passion was basketball. So, even at the age of 26, uh, I'm plenty in shape and, and young enough to play for a few years and, and do what I love, but also have that opportunity to educate people. Um, and then I'm also, in the meantime, I'm taking... Uh, a bunch of photo shoots for Model Mayhem and taking a, I'm saying a, uh, a lot. Anyway, uh, taking my pictures and portfolios and headshots to Dallas to some modeling agencies to just see what happens. It's a good time um, for this in, in, in society, so the worst I can hear is no. Because uh, another thing that kind of really inspired me is more recently, a girl in the UK, Nicole, I followed her on YouTube for years and I'm friends with her on Facebook now and she just had her surgery but the week before she walked the catwalk at London's Fashion Week so there's plenty of opportunity um, to be ourselves out there in the world and at the same time educate 
and that's kind of really where I want to go with, with who I am. So right now this was just a quick update video, but next week, hopefully depending on my days off, I really want to do a video that kind of talks about what it is being transgendered and mix my story in there with it to help go ahead and educate and kind of get what I see it as out there. And luckily with as many people I have that follow me here on Facebook or any other other social sites I'll probably try to post it to, hopefully it can get reblogged and reposted and shared so many times that it can reach that many more people. Because there's no need to be afraid of who we are. Uh, I struggled for a long time, like I've said, and really didn't want to live. Uh, and that was, that was a big battle of mine, and it's a big battle that a lot of us go through. And you'd be surprised how many people will love you and accept you for who you are, regardless. So the more people can be aware and hear of it and find information, all of my friends that, that are really good friends with me now, when they found out, they actually went online and researched it just to learn a little bit more so they didn't act like an idiot in front of me, I guess, so that's what they said. So, I would like to share something like that and to help kind of, I don't know, spread that a little bit. So, I want to thank everybody for following me, for subscribing, for giving me comments and encouragement. Uh, it's inspiring and I really appreciate it and I love every single one of you. Uh, so, continue to kind of follow and pay attention because I will be posting that video really soon and please, please, please share it and let's try to spread some some hope out there and some love. Till next time, hopefully next week. Love y'all. Bye.